I'm an engineer for 42 years. I've been a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, and a software engineer. Do you think that EP760 is easy to install? Yes. Dave Pierre, how are you? I'm here today with Shane Garrett up at Broadwater in northern New South Wales, and he has purchased an EP760 and also with B4, four, mind you, B500 batteries. Now, this is an interesting setup and Shane was actually an early adopter. So I've come up here to have a chat with him about the setup, why he purchased it and uh, how it's actually performing after it's been in for about nine months, is it Shane? Yes, nine About months. nine months, nine that's months. excellent. So I'll jump into the questions now. Shane, can you tell me a little bit of about Shane Garrett, the history, what, what your qualifications are regarding this setup and why your history has taken you towards purchasing this setup. Yes, so um, I grew up in this area on a cane farm and got into engineering you know, in my late teens. And I've been an engineer for 42 years. I've been a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, and a software engineer, mainly software engineer. And I'm currently the platform's architect for Southern Cross University. I've traveled around, done extensive projects around the world, worked with CAD, and all sorts of other things like that. So I've had a very interesting career. Excellent. So you would say, oh, well, I would say from listening to what you just told me then, that you would have a pretty good understanding of what you required and why you went this direction with Bluetti rather than other brands that are around. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm heavily into spreadsheets and comparisons before I buy anything. Well, some people would say that's wonderful. Other people would say, oh, hum, that's a bit boring. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the next question, Shane. What are the reasons that you chose Bluetti from other famous brands? I was looking for a brand that didn't have a lithium ion battery. So that narrowed the field down a bit at the time. Um, and I also was looking for a, a, a unit that was more of a, like a utility type thing. It looks more like a fridge or something you can bring in and out and something that I, I felt had good quality. And so I did my research and um, decided on this unit. You were talking about you're after something that wasn't a lithium ion battery, but this is actually lithium ion phosphate battery. Yes, is that exactly. the main reason? The phosphate yeah. at the end was the, was yeah, the crunch? Was the main thing, yeah. Yeah. Because um, I've had laptops and phones and things that have swollen up with the lithium ion. Yes. And so this is a much safer environment from my technical you know, understanding. Uh, where did you learn about Blue Eddie, Shane? Probably when I was in America, working in R&D over there. So um, I've known about them from just about when they first started. How long ago would that have been? Maybe 20 years ago. Before using Blue Eddie, were you using commercial power all the time? Yes. I was, uh, except then I, I switched to solar first about four or five years earlier. So I put a 10 kilowatt solar system on and at that time I was getting 12 cents rebate back and that paid for itself and then after that paid for itself I decided to go the next step. Do you think that EP760 is easy to install? Yes, yes it was. It's a two person lift each unit and you basically stack them, level out your base and then stack them. So I did the install of that and got an electrician to do the wiring of the final wiring it to the grid. So they all clip together basically. There's no cables really going between them apart from the very short connecting cable yeah. that connects the EP760 with either one, two, three or four of the B500s. Exactly, yes. Terrific. And you got your own electrician in. Do you feel that that electrician that you used would be more than comfortable to come and fit a Blue Eddy EP760 yes. in yes. anyone's home? Absolutely. I spoke to him about two weeks ago and he asked how it was going. He dropped in and, and asked, asked how he thought how it was going and I told him and he'd be happy to do others in the area as well. What benefits do you think you get from installing the EP760? Um, we have pretty bad power in this area, so I use UPSs for my, my computers and servers and stuff and they're always squeaking and squawking, so it's over voltage, under voltage, uh, power failures. When I was one time, one year I had 20 power failures in one year. That's and a lot. That's a lot. And so it's been un unstable and this gives me that stability. My wife's uh, favourite thing is that you can have a hot shower even during a blackout. 
because it because it's got a, the power. Even if you can't power. see where you are. Yeah. Oh no, hold on. You've oh, got lights. Can, of course, you've got even, lights we, from the blue Eddy. We don't even notice blackouts now, except the how the whole town goes black, and we're still running. You don't even see a blink. How do you think the Blue Eddy EP760 contributes to improving home energy security and availability? Ah, that's a good one because um, it's my philosophy to be as independent as possible in retirement and this is part of the step towards that. So with the power, power prices rising constantly, this is going to give me that edge against that in the future plus I won't get um, nickel and dime to death based on the increasing prices no surprises no surprises and i'm comfortable that this will last 15 to 20 years not the 10 years that the worry has how do you view the blue eddy ep 760 760 watt output power in meeting household energy demands it works very well if i turn everything on and upstairs uh, except for the oven it, our house draws about 4.5 kilowatts but at the same time I can then come down here and use a bit of uh, tools that use two and a half, you know, uh, watts, kilowatts, and uh, without even going on the grid. So I have most days that I don't even pull energy from the grid at all. And it's only really winter time where I have heaters on that I'll have to draw on the grid overnight. And in summertime with air conditioners on, I might have time I do that. I'd like to add there that you yes. do have the full complement of the four batteries. So yes. Basically, let's say very approximately 500 watt hours, oh sorry, five, yes, five kilowatt hours each. So it's nearly 20 kilowatt hours of yes. capacity you have there on call at yes. demand at 7,600 max output. Does it handle surge? Yes, it's got an option in it to, to handle the uh, bad quality coming in and I turn that on almost straight away. And does it have the quality, the capacity to have more than 7,600 watts going out for a given time or not? I think there is a short burst but I haven't really tested it to that level. I have, don't think I've turned enough on but I've never had it shut down or tri trip or anything like that. That was a David question I threw, yes, <laughs> threw in. Right. There yeah. wasn't on the list. I'm happy to yeah. ask any questions. Well, here we go. This is almost the same kind of question. What safety protection functions does the EP760 energy storage system have, such as overcharge, over discharge, sh short circuit, etc.? Yeah, that's a technical one. But um, in the app, they actually have monitors that monitor the voltage coming in and out and the batteries. And so you can even go and check the, the batteries where they're at, but they'll actually give you an alert and tell you what's going on. That alert, does it come through just as a bip on the app or does it send you an email or a text? I think it can do both, but I only ever use the app because I just monitor the app. It's, that's right. all I've used. I've looked at it. The app has changed several times now in the last nine months and it's evolving and getting much better with much more features. What is your assessment of the design and manufacturing quality of the Blue Eddy EP760? I would say it's excellent. You know, engineering wise, the quality of to put it together it was really quite nice. Um, I, haven't, I can't fault it for its quality of manufacture at, at all. It works really well. Cool, I think well, that says it all. Mm. How effective is the integration of the Blue Eddy EP760 with solar systems compared to competitors? I can't really compare it to competitors because I haven't tried competitors, but it was I had a solar system in with an inverter I removed the inverter, took the three strings from the from the, the solar panels and connected them straight into the, the plugs in there. That was it. It was really So you do not have an inverter on the solar system at all now, is that what you're saying? The inverter's in the solar system now. It's got a nine kilowatt inverter built into it. Into the EP760, so yes. it's got its own inverter. Yes. What advantages do you see in the IP65 rating for the EP760? I considered whether it would be outside or inside, and so it's the fact that you could install it outside, although they do re rec recommend an uh, enclosure for it. Um, I determined to put it inside the garage like I've got here, and it's far enough inside the wall, but if it ever came in, it would be protected against the rain. And I felt this, my power board is right behind here, the actual thing, so it's a direct connection through to the um, 
the isolation switches outside. The EP760 system uses lithium ion phosphate batteries. What advantages do you think this battery has? I think we've already we've covered, covered this. this. Yeah, because yeah. that's my, one of my criteria. So the risk of a lithium ion battery catching fire, if, if not used properly, is, um, is pretty high. Yes. And unless you know what you're doing, so this is a much safer system and this, the software manages the batteries properly. So I looked that up as well. All on your spreadsheets? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How does the unit hold up over long time use? Now I know you've only had it for nine months, mm -hmm. but how has it been going for that nine months? It's been going really well for the nine months and I, I do believe I can probably even get more performance out of my solar panels with it. So I've been talking to Blue Ready about those sort of things. They've been very responsive. Um, even Tiger has been responsive to emails originally, and then I think it's um, Peter, uh, Patrick. There's Patrick responds to me pretty quickly after I put in a request. Yeah. So they, they, I get a response back within 12 hours probably. How important is the 10 year warranty from Blue Eddy for it to you? It's very important. I do believe that it's like with solar panels, everything, your 10 years it drops in performance. Batteries will drop in performance a little bit. That's why I upscaled to the 20 kilowatts to give me that buffer over time. So I expected to be able to run the house for 15, 20 years. So the 10 year warranty just makes me feel more comfortable that I'm gonna get the longevity and the payback. And it is an investment. You know, I looked at it, I, when I did my uh, calculations on the spreadsheets, I worked out that I was gonna looking at a 12 year you know, return on investment. As it turns out, it's going to be more like five or six years. It's actually performing better in saving us costs than it was than I thought it would in my estimation. Yeah. So, how much, how many hours would the electrician have spent installing this for you? If we just talk about he's he's done it before and comes in now, Shane says, right, come do it. If if like I did, set this up already, wired all up, ready to go, didn't turn it on, just sort of. Plugged it all in and followed the instructions. That was a two person lift. These are not 50 odd kilos, yes. Yeah. So, two person lift. That, I put that together, then the electrician uh, would probably take half a day to do it um, on a, you know, on a short run. If they knew what they're doing on yeah. a short run. Okay, so we already answered this question how responsive, how responsive and how helpful is customer service? Well, as I said, that they, they've responded to me within 12 hours of every time I send them an email. Can't argue with that. And, and actually I've had phone calls back from them as well. Yeah. In summary, would you recommend the EP760 system to your friends and why, if you did? I would because it's, as you can see, it's a, it's a standalone unit. Um, if I wanted to leave and they didn't want to pay for it, I can just undo a few screws and out it goes and switch it back to um, mains power. There's just a three-way switch there. I can flick a switch and it's disconnected and they're back to normal. The only thing they'd need to do is put the inverter back. You'd need to put the inverter back on. To have solar. Yeah. To have solar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can take this anywhere you want mm -hmm. at the drop of a hat. Yeah. And away you go. So we own it. It's an asset. You yeah. Know, it's, uh, it's, an it's like your car. Yeah. It is. It's <laughs> yeah. just, just like that. I should say that um, a lot of people uh, think that when it's cloudy weather, you don't get power generation. So you could get away with a six kilowatt solar panel system to charge this up. I put a 10 kilowatt system on there that charges it up even during rainy days. I've had two days in the last nine months that the battery wasn't fully charged by the end of the day. Okay, Shane, well, thank you very much for giving the time of day to allow me to come in and have a chat with you about your EP760 and the V500s. Yep. I'm already sold. I've got, <laughs> I've got an AC500, which I absolutely love. Yep. Uh, but this is the next level. And I think this is definitely where people are going to be going as far as uh, storing their solar power rather than sending it out to the grid for a pittance. Congratulations to you for looking towards the future for your retirement. And, and saying, right, well, I have to be self-sufficient because the pension's not going to cut it. That's right. That's <laughs> exactly where we look at.